Hello and welcome to our channel. This is the fourth video in this series. We have one more to go and I have a special present for you in the last and final video. So do not give up. Take it to the next page. Don't forget that it has been a very wonderful journey all this while. We have so much still coming up. And I am looking forward to you ending up this video in grand style. So, without how much I do, why not move on to my laptop so that we see and then we get it for ourselves. This is the fourth video in this series. And in this video, we will be looking at the step number three. Step number three. Yes, step number three, because uh, if you have not actually watched the first, uh, the, the preceding videos, the first video, the second video, and then the third video, I really recommend that you go back to watch those videos because what we are going to be talking about today. So if you are new to this channel, if you are new to this series, I really recommend that you go back to watch the full, the, pre the previous videos. So that you will understand where we have gotten to now good now let's continue back to business so this is stage three in stage one we spoke about a whole lot and then we we, we first spoke about setting the basics setting the foundations yes and then after you have set the foundation we decided to let me just give you a very quick one this is that this is it and then getting the focus and the traffic and then we came to conversion of sales so um that is it the second one is here good these are the steps <laughs> yeah getting the focus and, the, and so this one we have an intro which is uh the first video one yeah and then this is video two and then we had this one to be video three so if you have not watched any of these videos you have to go and then watch them you have to go and then watch them yeah so this one is video number one not two sure and then this one is where we are now and it is video number four so in video four we are looking at conversion to sales now you have gotten the traffic to your website you have gotten the traffic to your page you have gotten the attention of people and now what you are what you are, we are looking forward to is to get these people to make sales on your store or to contact you to make sales to buy from you that is what we are saying so in this stage or in this step we are, we are focusing on how to convert the engagement and the exposure that you got in the previous um, steps to making sales so you get all of those audience or all of those people who are watching and following you your statuses and your your stories and getting into your links and came to your page and liked and followed and liked your your services and your your items to make sales now they come and say i want to buy this they make order they place order yes that is where the money money can start yeah so don't forget about it <laughs> so making sales has been the long-term targets all this way so to do this you have to activate a send button on your page if you are using a Facebook page activate a send message button so that you can either link to either messenger or whatsapp I've already told you how that I like whatsapp so try that one and then um, let's look at how to cause these sales over here we are looking at focusing on first the CRM your customer relations well, some people will contact you and say, hello, Super J, um, actually, I saw this advert, I saw this item, I saw this service, I'm interested in it, how do I get it, or oh, better still, yeah, I want to place a order, and then how you are going to interact with this client, with this prospect client, is going to be a very, very integral part 
as to whether they will continue to place the order or to make the sale or they will leave you there so focus on your customer service uh -huh. i think customer service is very clear to you instead of customer relations <laughs> Focus on your customer service. Give them a very nice service with a smile so that they will love to make payments, uh, to make purchase on your site or on your products or items. They will buy from you. So, number two is to, um, yeah, I will tell, talk to you about how to handle inquiries to breed, to breed sales, sale interest. Yeah, sure. I'll talk to you about how to handle inquiries and then use effective responses. Your responses are very important. Respond for them to know that you are actually interested in them making sales. Respond to cause them to think to know that yes, this item or service is the best one for them. They cannot get any of the like in on any other platform. So push it in there. Get them to know that you have the best service for them yeah and then boost them to make purchase because that is what we are looking at that is where we are focusing on i hope you understand it by now sure thank you so the next one is that i would want you to set up some greeting messages as somebody sends a message hi i want to make inquiries on this product and then this message automatically comes up because when people are waiting for you to respond especially when you are away it, it sometimes takes them to the next shop. If somebody comes to your shop and waits for so many minutes just to buy something, the next time they wouldn't want to come there again because time is precious. So don't keep your client waiting. Don't keep your prospect, clients, customers waiting. Be quick at it. And one way to do it is this uh, greeting messages which are automatic. You don't have to be there to send it. Once somebody sends you a message on WhatsApp, or once sends you a message on Telegram, or once was somebody WhatsApp sends a message to your page, these tests or these messages are sent to them automatically. <clears throat> so it is one wonderful way we are going to overcome this. Thank you. Example of a greeting message is, welcome to Spajesi Business and Services. Please let us know how we can help you. You see, it is like a weather smile. You are not there. But this message is sent automatically to them, and then they like it. It looks like you are there, and then they will leave the message there, and then quickly you can come in and then respond to them. The second one says, hello and welcome to PJSI Business and Services. Please let us know. Please let us know. Talk in that way. Don't say, please let me know. Those are, this guy is just <laughs> one man. <laughs> Maybe he's just there for jokes. But it shouldn't be like that. Please let us know. Let them know that you are an entity. You are not dealing with some individual. It's an entity. Please let us know which service you are interested in. Or you have interest in. Or better still, you can check out our full list here. Good. That's what I was talking about with the catalog. If you check here, you see that you have C over here. Which tells you that this link is a catalog. It's a link to a catalog. So it takes them to a catalog where they see the items and the items that you have available. Don't forget to add the price, like I say. If the prices vary, add it that the prices vary so that the customer will know. Thank you. So welcome to our business page. We are absolutely glad to have you here. Please use the link to check out what offers we have for you and this one also is a catalog or visit our web our facebook page with this link so i've added my facebook page link also here you are not leaving anything for graphs <laughs> yes grab them grab them let them enjoy you okay so grab them and this is one wonderful way so this is just a greeting message we have an away message it says thank you so much for your message or your inquiry we are unavailable right now but you will respond as soon as possible. Please check out our catalog here. Over here to have added a link to my catalog. Don't just leave them to go. Don't just leave them to go. Give them something to keep them in. And the catalog link is very important. Or a link directing them to your Facebook page is very important. 
So make sure that you have already stopped your Facebook page or stopped your catalog. I've already mentioned that in the previous videos. And now you have the links, so you direct them there. Isn't that wonderful? Sure. The next thing I'll talk to you about is just a little response. So we are very excited to have someone special like you to like our page. We are blessed to have you and God bless you. Oh, wow. Wow, what a soft. What a soft response or reply. Be so glad to come and then deal with you. You can also say that, hello, hi and welcome to our then your, your, your business name. So let me say, hello and welcome to Pajesa Business and Services. We are so much glad to receive your inquiry. Please wait. Please note that we so much cherish you and we look forward to having a wonderful business transaction with you. Take time to look into our catalog and better still with your inquiries, so, so, and so, and so, and so. And so you give details of the inquiries that a person made and it is just awesomely made. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of the fourth video, which is on the step three in this uh, free business mentorship series. Don't forget that it is about getting ourselves found there and then making some wonderful sales. See you in the next video, but don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like us, and then follow us on all our social media handles. It is Super J Side Business and Services. God bless you. See you in the next video.